Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. What up, y'all? I got the like I got some oatmeal cream pie stuck in my tooth. Hold up one second. I think it is stuck in my tooth. I was just sitting here smashing this oatmeal cream pie before I got on the camera. It was good though. Good as a mug. But thank you guys for coming back to my channel. So this video is about the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Okay, so I just got this deck in the mail yesterday. And I was playing The Sims yesterday, so I didn't really feel like filming to do um, a deck review. But, see you guys! I am so, so happy that I got this. Like, I'm just waiting for this deck to come. Like, it seemed like it took so long to come. Because when I told y'all when I had ordered that stuff, it seemed like it was taking forever. Like, I ordered these, these deck in, like, I ordered this deck. Actually, no, I ordered this deck in... Probably like July and then I got it this month or whatever. But I've been wanting this deck for a long time, you know, for obvious reasons because it got the black, um, you know, the black, uh, what's the name of this? I was like, I wonder what the other, the other cards look like inside of it, right? So this is the box that mine came in. I don't know what the, you know, what they, what the box normally comes in, but this is what mine came in. I still got some of the plastic still on mine. Okay. And then it came with um, this card, and it says, "You are, you are a bad being, full of life, love, and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find, may you find a path to your best self." Okay. So I like this little message. It comes with a little message. This is what the back of the deck looks like. So it's blue with. Like an all seeing eye with like swords on it, got cups, it got keys, it got like, oh, it has a little M on there for modern. It has um, wands, so it has all of the uh, elements. I don't see pentacles, oh, in the corner. Okay, so they have them like in the corner pentacles, cups, and things like that. Okay. So let's get into the deck. So the first card we're going to show is the Ace of Cups. And I love it. Look at it. Like, it's so cute. It got the heart on there. Like, I haven't been so excited about a deck since I did the Gilded Tarot um, deck review. I'm just moving my camera up right now. Now, them damn babies don't be quiet. I'm going to go up there and knock them upside their head and give them something to argue and fuss about. But that's a whole nother side story because I know y'all hear them in the background. I'm trying to project my voice over top of them. And they all the way upstairs. Like, why do I hear y'all? Like, y'all in the next room. Y'all all the way up there. Next. Okay. So, we have the Ace of Cups. So, it's so, so cute. So, I haven't really been so excited about a deck since I did the Gilded Tarot deck. Okay. The um, Cairo Machete deck or whatever, right? So, yeah, the other two decks I did a review on just recently, like, I don't really, I don't really like them decks like that. I mean, I have the decks. I, I got the decks. Um, but I'm not really feeling those decks. That's probably why I haven't used them on my channel yet. I don't even know how to use those. I, I will use them in other readings, but, you know, I just... Y'all can probably tell that I didn't really like them. That's probably why I didn't bring them out since I did a review. But, um, we have the Ace of Cups. And it's so, so cute. Look, it has the pink cup on there. And it has the girl got the fingernails on there. You see her little nails. And then it got the pink, I mean, the heart at the top of the, de of the um, what's the name? This is so cute. And so we have the Two of Cups. Okay. The two of cups look nice. I really like the deck though. Maybe they could have put more color in it. I don't know. I don't know if it's normally this is not this colorful. Maybe it's supposed to be. I don't know. It could have been like a little bit brighter, but I kind of like the pastel -y colors though. Like they're working for me. They're really working for me. And this one has like a line in the top. Um, we have the three of cups, so we got the three people going out or whatever. Look at this girl outfit. Her outfit looks so cute with the little cut-up dress or whatever. They were to go out and twerk. That bitch about to go twerk. Look at her. 
Look at her outfit though. Like she got the little halter top with the um a little halter top with the little, you know, her little outfit. They ready to go get fucked up tonight. I see you three cups. Then we have the four cups here. This person, something is being given to them or whatever, and it's like they don't really want it. They're not trying to take it or whatever. This is so cute. I like it. I really like the imagery of the of the deck. And I normally I'll hold my reviews to the end or say what I gotta say to the end because that was one of the other two decks. This one I can't hold. I already looked through it, so I kind of liked it. Five of Cups. So let's just go through and see. The Six of Cups. So this one is nice. A nice interpretation of the Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Oh, got two cards. And then we have the Eight of Cups. This motherfucker is gone. Look at him all the way back there. Nine of Cups. Okay, lady. She don't look too happy, though. This supposed to be a card of satisfaction, you know, wish fulfillment and satisfaction. She don't look too happy. She got her arms crossed and her legs crossed. Like, what the fuck else is coming? <laughs> I kind of feel like this bitch is spoiled or something. Okay, Ten of Cups. <laughs> she probably spoiled the shit. Like, she got everything that she wanted and she still ain't happy. Ten of Cups. This is nice. The little family is out at the park or whatever, looking at the rainbow. Page of Cups. I like how they did the page too. That's nice. Her style, I like her outfit. It's cute. Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups. What the hell is going on with my camera angle. I'm sorry. I don't know what that was. Y'all might have seen it. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. Look at him. <laughs> he was like a nerd, don't he? <laughs> he be looking like, yeah. I know I'm the shit. <laughs> he got on them damn skinny jeans. I do not like that style for the guys. I swear I don't. <clears throat> that skinny jean style, I do not like it. I be trying to find the boot cut leg jeans for my son. I do not like that. When his father giving him skinny jean shit, I say he wore that out with you, not out with me. God damn it. Shit. <laughs> Ace of Swords. <laughs> Look at the Ace of Swords. Okay, Ace of Swords. I like it. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. So these look pretty much stand. I mean, the deck so far is looking standard to regular deck. It's just better, better illustrations. Um, four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. Um, seven of Swords. This bitch looks like she's looking back over her shoulder over her life. <laughs> Eight of Swords. So they got this person standing up. I kind of like that because at any moment this person can like walk off if they want. So even though like the Eight of Swords is about entrapment, right? With them, with the swords not really, really trapping them where they're going. But it, oh, because they have a blindfold so they can't really see. Oh, so this person is blindfolded so they can't see that they can get the fuck out of it. You know what I'm saying? They can't see that. Because they got their blindfold on. I didn't even notice that. Because the sword is not like trapping them in. Their arms are just bound. Like if they can see, bitch, you can run. You got legs. 
you can get out of in between those stories. <laughs> oh my god, this is my first impression. Y'all gonna hate me saying that in one of my readings, probably. I don't know why this came to my brain, but it did. Okay, nine of swords. Ten of swords. And then we have another one that looks like the Ten of Swords, but this one says everything is fine. And then we have the Page of Swords. Um, the Knight of Swords. I'm sorry if the lighting isn't all that good in here, you guys, because I should have replaced those light bulbs because I did buy some new ones and I put them in my bathroom and they got the bathroom so lightly dimmed. But I was like, but those lights, it was like two lights that was out and then one that was like dimming. So I only changed the light bulbs that was out and the other one is dimming is still in the two of light. But I said, ain't no point in changing the light bulbs if it's going to give off light, like wait until the whole bulb completely you know, go out and then I'll change the bulb. They don't need a fucking wasting good light bulbs to actually give off light, even though it's them right now, you know. They'd be out soon enough. And we have the Queen of Swords, and this reminds me of um, Daenerys Hungarian. I don't know if y'all watched Game of Thrones, right? But y'all heard me use Game of Thrones references in a lot of my videos, my Let's Plays, and inside of my Tarot videos. So she looks a lot like Daenerys Hungarian. And then we have the King of Swords. And then we have the Ace of Wands. Okay, Ace of Wands. And we have the Two of Wands. So in this two of wands, it looks like somebody is actually getting ready to make a direction or get ready to choose or pick a direction that they go into. And they could definitely be looking at their GPS to figure out, okay, so I'm going this way. So let me use my GPS to see which way I'm going to go. Because she got her cell phone in her hand. Okay, three of wands here. And then we have the Four of Wands. And then we have the Five of Wands. Mm, look at these motherfuckers throwing down. Look at them throwing down, all of them, with their old timey outfits and all of that on. They is something else, ain't they? And then it's like, hold up. Do one of them got on a goddamn mask because they know that it's the fucking coronavirus? Like, look at this shit. You see this one back here? <laughs> this one back here with this fucking mask on with the all white on. That bitch got on a fucking mask. She must have knew the coronavirus was coming. She like, uh-uh, I'll fight y'all motherfuckers, but I gotta put my mask on because <laughs> y'all bitches might spit or blood might get on me or something. I don't want nothing getting on me. That is funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. We have the six of wands. And then we have the seven of wands. She looked like um Kim Possible. My kids used to watch this show called Kim Possible. She looks like the girl from Kim Possible, but she looked pretty. And then we have the eight of wands. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Um, Page of Wands. Knight of Wands.
Queen of Wands. Um, King of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, I like this card. Three of Pentacles, this is different. It's really different, you know. Um, four of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Why? Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. I like that. With the family. Here we have Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, yes, Queen of Pentacles, come through, look at how that big, all that luscious hair, yes, Queen of Pentacles, come through, Queen, and then we have the King of Pentacles, he definitely looked like somebody that's fine, don't he, he looked like a fine young thing, <laughs> All right, so we have the major arcanas now. So we have the fool. And we have the magician, which is the reason why I wanted to get this deck in the first place. And we have the high priestess. Oh, she is so cute. Especially with the little, um, I don't know what that looks like. It looks like a headband bow, Taurus bow or something on her head. We have um, the Empress. The Emperor, Emperor, Emperor. We have the Hierophant. Well, they made the Hierophant a oh, female in this one. We have the Lovers. The chariot, I like the chariot god, it's really cool. But why does she got those lion things? Or what is it, a sphinx? Or I think they call it sphinxes or something. From like the Egyptian time. Like what the hell is they doing? You want to outrun their asses with that motorcycle. Okay, the strength card. Um, we have the Hermit. I like this Hermit card too. It's like she's clearly like shutting herself down, you know, from all of technology. Like she got a computer right there and she's like, look, I don't want to watch social media right now. I just want to be by myself. Like I'm, I'm fucked up. I don't want to see what people are saying about me on social media. We have the Wheel of Fortune, which is one of my favorite cards. But for some reason, this little fortune card ain't doing it for me. But I kind of like it. Um, yeah, I really kind of like it. It definitely still has all of the... Um, it still has all of the fixed elements to it. You know, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, right? It still has all the elements for the wheel here. But... Um, I don't know, but the Wheel of Fortune is my favorite card, but they could have did a little bit more cutesy, cutesiness on that one, to be honest. We have Justice, but I'm not really complaining because I kind of like it. We have the Hanged One, 
the hanged one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We have death here. And temperance. I like this temperance card too. Um, did we see the star card yet? No. Devil. The tower. That bitch dead right here. Look. She fell in the rocks. Like, whoa. We have the star card. I love the star card. It's just, the star card and the Wheel of Fortune is like my favorite two cards that I like in the whole deck of tarot. We have the moon. And I like this moon card as well. And then we have the sun. This sun is not even smiling, y'all. Like, what is wrong with the sun? We have judgment. And we have the world. And this one also has... See, they should have made the Wheel of Fortune look like this. Instead of that other thing. They could have put that other stuff on this one and switched the two cards. But this is also still... The um, fixed elements as well on here. So what I think about this deck. I love it. I absolutely love it. I haven't used the deck yet in a reading. Because I wanted to show you guys it first. Before I started to you know use them in readings. But I absolutely love it. Um, the size of the cards that I got is pretty good. It shuffles really well. I feel like the card... Um, I really feel like the, I don't think that the card is going to tear all that easily. I mean, it do, it's flexible, but it doesn't seem like it's cheap, cheap, you know, or whatever the case may be. But I really feel like these cards may last for a good while. Um, easy to shuffle. Yeah, the imagery is lovely. Like, the imagery is very beautiful. It's better than what I expected it to be. Um, and it's so close to the record of Rider Waite deck that I can actually use it and follow it. Like, if um, people who just want to get into tarot or learn tarot or is like beginners in tarot, this would be one of the decks that I would actually recommend for them to get because it's so close to the actual um, imagery of the um, Rider Waite. It's just you know, in a more urban type of form, okay? It's, a, it's in a different form, but it don't stray too far away like that romance deck that I showed you. That was just straight completely away from whatever. I don't know. And then the imagery on that was just confusing to me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's why I was like, I wouldn't recommend that deck for beginners, but I would definitely recommend this deck. And look, Ace of Swords, the truth. This is my honest, clear... <laughs> opinion of what I'm saying, okay? So y'all know I'm not lying, I'm telling the truth. I'm giving y'all my honest opinion, okay? So yes, would I recommend this deck to, to beginners? Yes, I will. Would I recommend this deck to other people? Yes, I will. Um. So yeah, and would I purchase this deck again if my deck end up getting messed up? Yes, I will, okay? So there you have it, the Modern Witch Tarot deck. It has a 10 for me, okay? A 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, all across the board, okay, yes, 10s, <laughs> let me stop, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video, um, so if you guys are definitely thinking about getting this deck, I strongly recommend that you do, you know, I would, this is like the next in line other than these ones that I've been using, which is the, um, the Ride Awake and the Ride Awake Smith deck, so I have the Ride Awake deck, and I have the Ride Awake Smith, the regular Ride Awake and the Ride Awake Smith deck, both in the same deck. So I, I y'all know, if y'all been watching my videos, y'all know why I stack my decks now, okay? Um, but yeah, so this is my review of this deck. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.